Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jordan and I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for you for the Pisces Collective. This reading is for everybody who has a strong Pisces placement in their birth chart, but you can also just feel intuitively guided to these messages and watch the video and it can still work for you. I'm shooting this video um, at a different location. I'm on holiday right now and uh, yeah, I figured I'd make some content for you. Uh, so I hope you still enjoy this reading, even though it looks a little bit different than normal. We're gonna start by grabbing some Oracle cards, then we'll move into a 10 card tarot spread. Let's see what's going on with the Spirit Animal deck. We have Cat Spirit. Claim your independence. And uh, we'll see what else comes out. We have Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. Cat Spirit and Eagle Spirit. Underneath the bottom of the deck, it says, take the lead. So if you have been, uh, you know, creating your own pathways, trying to manifest your own dreams to become independent of relationships and finances and, you know, just find a certain level of comfort level and within yourself, Spirit has a plan for you. As long as you take the lead, the rest, Spirit will follow you where you go. We also have trustworthy friends coming out of the Angel Paris deck. Thank you, angels, for surrounding me with the people that I can trust and love. So the people you have in your life are important. They really see your beauty. They see your worth, your value. Let's see what's going on with the tarot. Okay. I just saw the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Pentacles. You could be learning some really big lessons right now. That's what those two cards have in common. So we'll grab 10 cards. The 10 card spread is a classic spread. Uh, it's called the Celtic Cross. What, but what I've done is I've turned it into two different rows because I find it's easier to read that way. Underneath the bottom of the deck is the tower reversed, which is instable energy. Interesting. We do have an energy of instability and uh, nervousness, even though I don't have the anxiety card here. It is coming through the energy of some of these cards. Um, I would say there is some form of uh, apprehension or um, uneasiness here um, with the hanged one representing you. Um, you may be going through something deeply personal right now um, when it comes to trust, trusting yourself, trusting the people around you, trusting your thoughts. Um, 
your memories, like maybe you remembering a lot of uh, different things that you've gone through and uh, I think you're being a bit hard on yourself with some of these energies here. Here's the, the hard on yourself, apprehensive energy. Here's the trust issues, you know, um, remembering things in a, uh, in a, in a way that is colored with emotion, almost like rose colored glasses with these two energies right here. Um, and with the five of swords represents your thoughts. So, um, yeah, Pisces, you might be taking a time out right now just to like reevaluate what you're thinking, what you're feeling. Um, in the past, we have temperance here. Reversed. It's my spirit guide, spirit angels card. Uh, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, I should say. And it talks about healing, balance, patience, timing, divine timing. And uh, we also have the Eight of Pentacles next to it, which talks about what you put your energy towards, what you're working on, whether it's career projects, your self-development. Um, I'm actually seeing, I'm hearing the words, you're knocking yourself down a few pegs. So maybe you're going through a moment where you're feeling a sense of humbleness and... Um, maybe uh, second guessing and questioning who you are with this Queen of Wands being here. And uh, I'm not sure what's having you question these things. Maybe it's an emotional experience you're going through right now with that Page of Cups. Maybe someone has said something to you or you've picked up on a vibe um, from somebody or from a, from a situation in general, but um, don't let your thoughts take control of who you are. You might be very different from some of the people around you. And you may have had a very different struggle or a different pathway that other people have had. With the Nine of Pentacles being in the Fears and Desires position and the Queen of Wands as the outcome, these cards talk about beauty and power and independence, just like the Cat Spirit does. And the Cat Spirit is saying, claim your independence. Um, so I feel like it's kind of saying, like, remember who you are, Pisces. You're the strong, charismatic leader. This person who is giving wise counsel to people who you care about and who care about you. You also have a sense of stability and, and the luxury right now to um, like maybe you've got too much time on your hands right now. Maybe you're just kind of taking a time out, taking a break from life from a situation that has kind of disturbed you emotionally mentally and um yeah i would just say in the future position with that five of swords and with the queen of wands being the outcome the five of swords represents self-doubt uh conflict within the mind remembering things in a harsh way blaming yourself for some things and the queen of wands is talking about confidence and Kind of like like rejecting those feelings, rejecting those thoughts. Um, say no to those questions that you have about yourself. You know, you don't have to throw yourself under the bus, so to speak. You may be just feeling um, vulnerable right now with this Nine of Wands being in the environment position. Maybe you're questioning some of the things you've done that you needed to do for yourself. The Seven of Swords talks about self-perseverance, especially with the Nine of Wands being below it. Um, decisions we've made that we might think are not are a little bit beneath us, but we had to make them because 
we were protecting ourselves. The universe sees you as this beautiful individual and you may be feeling disconnected from spirit right now. Maybe you're questioning whether a spirit even has your back at this time or is supportive of you. And that eagle energy is saying, yes, you know, they are supportive of you. So what can we do? You know, um, with that hanged one energy, I would say, you know, try not to isolate yourself from people right now. Um, be around those trustworthy friends, even though you're feeling instability right now. Um, this isn't like a full meltdown type of scenario. This is just kind of like a, you know, bit of a storm kind of going through the mind, but the storm will pass. Okay. Well, uh, that's what I've got for your reading today. Pisces, I hope it was helpful. Uh, take care and I'll see you again soon.